Alright, in this series we're going to take a look at workspaces as they relate to the user interface and to Bazel in general, and whether you're onboarding new team members unfamiliar with the code base or team members who are new to Bazel uh, during a migration or otherwise, you can speed up the process by helping them get a visual understanding of the build and the workspace using the BZL tool. So. If we type bzl open command line, here I'm in the apps LC++ uh, repository, which is my go-to demonstration repository. And with this, we open up a tab. It's going to drop us into the root of the workspace. So what we're going to do is just get oriented. Up top, we have the, um, <clears throat> the menu bar. This contains menus for the overall application, the repository that we're in, the current workspace, which is the default workspace. Uh, we also have a progress indicator for Bazel itself. We have a search auto-completion. We can type various uh, different things and go directly to packages and targets. Then below that, we have the navigation um, bar, which gives us an indication of which Bazel version we're using for this workspace. We have a link back to the uh, repository list on our workstation. This is the workspace name uh, defined in this workspace file. We have the uh, working directory and a little visual indicator of the MD5 hash of that working directory. And that turns out to be the identifier. That MD5 is the identifier that Bazel uses to identify the output base within your output user root. All right, and then we have some tabs underneath that. Uh, this one with the at sign shows us our default workspace. The external tab uh, gives us a list of all our external dependencies or external workspaces. We can browse the files inside the uh, working directory. We can explore and search incrementally um, various flags. And we can view our Bazel RC settings. Note also, you can view the files in the output base using the repository menu directly and explore files in the output base, which is where Bazel places all of its generated files. Note a few other tab, tab items which don't get obvious real estate unless you select it from the repository menu include the list of Bazel versions that will show the uh, available Bazel versions. You can switch between them as well or install versions which aren't yet on your workstation. In addition to Bazel Info, which is uh, general metadata about the repository itself, and information about the Bazel server, and some of the metadata regarding the server, in addition to a few process metrics associated with the server. If necessary, you can use this to uh, force kill Bazel server if, if it's really stuck. All right, let's take a closer look at the default workspace. The view here that we're seeing is the package list. Anything with a build or build.bazel file is a package, fundamental unit of visibility, and uh, membership. Uh, we can also view this as a tree. These other buttons. Uh, let's take a look at repository rule. It says where this workspace is defined. For the default workspace, it's defined on line one of the workspace file. This gets more interesting when you look at external workspaces. The rules shows us a list of all rules in the workspace categorized by their rule class. And these labels are clickable, so you can filter by rule class. The open button allows us to open the uh, workspace in our IDE. So if I click on this, 
our ID is going to open up at the root of that uh, repository or workspace. And then the run allows us to issue arbitrary ad hoc Bazel uh, commands to build run tests and so forth. So if I start typing some target here, this is a config setting, and we can build targets from this view if we, look, if we so choose. All right, now we're going to take a look at external workspaces. So by selecting this external tab, we get a list of all of our external dependencies. Each row in this table gives us the name, the repository rule class, as well as the file location where it's being declared. And this is actually quite useful because as your workspace file grows, you're loading multiple BZL files, it can be difficult to figure out where these are actually being declared. So this just gives you an easy way to easily click through and uh, easily understand where those are being defined. Now the list view is a little bit different than the tree view in that the tree view doesn't filter out all the Bazel internal uh, workspaces. Those include Android, Java, JDK related ones in addition to the Bazel tools built-in repository which has quite a number of things inside of it. Okay, so if you want the full list, use the tree view, otherwise the list view. And if we select any individual workspace, works pretty much the same as the default one. Uh, here we can take a look at the specific repository rule. It's been filtered out for us. And uh, we can take a look, we, if we click on the files, we can actually go and inspect the external workspace files. This can be somewhat cumbersome to do um, on your own. And uh, we can take a look at all the rules that are defined within that workspace, build and test those as we would normally. The open uh, button as per normal allows you to open up those files in your IDE if you so wanted to do that to get a better understanding of your external dependencies. All right, and that's about it for external workspaces. Hope you learned something.